Hey. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this this service this here. I'm just uh, watching a video of myself from my time that I spent at a mental hospital um, almost two years ago in October, November 2021 and I see a broken man who is just, just look, just, just have a look Oh, it's not. I see a broken man who has no hope for the future and it's just full of self-pity wallowing in his misery and his pain and I'm not critical of my of the this I was back then but I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm I'm crying because I, I am such. I'm in such a different place today. I'm, I'm feeling good. I believe in myself. I know that I have capabilities and I have abilities, and I and I have people who love me and appreciate me for what I am. Not for what I have or what I can offer them, but for who I am. And this includes my parents, my amazing parents, and and my. Uh, my friends, my true friends and there are so many of them in my personal life and in the archivers and in our discord servers and I have a lot of friends and I don't know why I didn't understand that almost two years ago when I was locked up in that place I am currently feeling good, but I'm crying because I'm just seeing myself back then and, and, and the, the, the emotions that I had, the feelings that I had are just coming back so strongly. And yeah, I'm making a video about it because that's my way of communicating myself to the world. It's one of my ways because I know what mental health issues are. And I'm not afraid to show that I cry, that I'm fragile, that I'm sensitive, that, that I'm I'm just a person, you know, I'm not I'm not some superman, I'm not some I'm not a tough man that never cries. I cry I don't cry so often, but I cry when something really moves me. And it could be a, a beautiful song like I don't know, I don't want to drop musical references now, it doesn't matter. The point is that I want to make is that look I am down in the dumps here I'm just crying and talking about how my life is complete disaster I didn't know that but when I was doing this video I was already sort of out of my position in my job the position I loved so much and life was not going in a, in a good direction for me I got out I got better. I, I I healed from what from the illness that I had, and I gradually got better. And I'm doing I'm doing great now. I'm doing great. Uh, I appreciate everything. Every day I wake up and I appreciate the fact that I woke up, that I can grab my phone and 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 listen to Notorious B.I.G. or Kraftwerk or some Italo Disco and I appreciate the fact that I can WhatsApp one of my friends and just say ask them how they are doing and I think that sometimes at least I tend to forget how we take these things for granted. We take many things for granted. In different scales of, of 
so to speak. But and I have this grand appreciation of the things I have in life: friends, family, material possessions like my. Look at it. Or my keyboard that. Um, wait, let me show you. Let me show you. You saw it like that. Now you will see it like that. You see, I can change it so it will change the different RGB. <laughs> Sorry, RGB is fucking cool. Wait a minute, I'm gonna light up a cigarette. I'm gonna light up a cigarette. And I smoke too much. I smoke way too much. <laughs> way too fucking much. And I don't. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going in a good direction with that smoking. And I'm trying to cut back on the smoking, but whenever I feel a little stressed or sad or even even bored, I just pick up a cig and you know. I don't know why I destroy myself like that. I'm not telling myself for good things in the future. And I won't delve into the reasons why, but Anyway, this is not a rant about smoking. What I want to say is that currently I am allegedly coming down from my menu. And as the name of this disease, this illness is is called manic depression, <coughs> it means that there is almost never no, not almost never. There's no, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> See why I'm smoking too much? There's no stability. It's there's mania, and there's depression. And what you strive to be, and the, the psychiatrist to whom you pay thousands of dollars strive you to be, is in the middle, between the 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 low and the high and the high. And if you are watching this right now and you are somewhere in the middle, then you know not to be like a snob or like a mania snob or something, but you should fucking appreciate that, because I think I'm reaching the middle right now, but. As my psychiatrist told me, there's a 90, 90, not 19, like the song from Paul Hardcastle, 90% chance that after a manic episode, you will have a depressive episode. And that's pretty much what I'm going to have in a, I don't know, a month or so, two months, three even. Hopefully I won't, but you know, it's 10% that I won't, so... And my psychiatrist... Pretty much everything he said to me so far, he was right, like... It, the guy just knows his trade. So this is a letter to the future this, the future this in one month or two. And I'll try to look into the camera. Uh, directly to the camera when I talk is this shit wait my screensaver um, okay so so the date right now is the 14th of June uh, 2023 and you are feeling quite great you're coming down for mania because you got a new on a new med that really helped you but you know that you will uh, have um, you will have a depressive episode soon, probably sooner than you think. You'll have a, a, a stable episode, a stable time, and then you'll have a, uh, a nice time being depressed and suicidal. Probably, I almost said hopefully. I don't know why. I don't want anybody to be suicidal because I have been suicidal, and let me tell you, it's not fun. Spending entire days just looking out to reading on the internet how to kill yourself. I'm sorry, trigger warning. I should have said the trigger warning before, but I'm sorry. 
so maybe I'm manic right now because I'm making this video maybe not I know who will think I'm manic I know who you are you're watching this video and uh, if you are watching this video then just know that I miss you terribly and I'm sorry that I lied to you uh, I have problems as you well know because you know me so well and I didn't mean to lie to you and you're one of my best friends ever and I miss you so if you're watching this I would really like to get back being friends again if you would give me another chance then I will do my best not to lie to you again although you have to give me some leeway because I I have this sickness called bipolar too so anyway this if you're watching this in one uh, one month or two and you're depressed know this you're gonna be alright you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be maybe hopefully not suicidal you're gonna not want to visit meet people you're gonna, not gonna go on watch streams you're not gonna make watch videos you're not gonna listen to fucking music which is the whole one of the worst things that this illness does but you get better because you're a strong person because you've been through this fucking rodeo before because you know that you know there's a light at the end of the at the tunnel that, that there's always a rainbow somewhere that you can always hit play and listen to Crafter or Motorhead or uh, Security Politic. You can also always go on Rachel Ghost stream and talk to people about vinyl and music. You can always go on Archie Luxury stream and talk about watches and drama. You can always shoot up a mail to somebody and just talk. You have a lot of friends who support you. You have amazing parents who love you, who will do anything for you, and you have friends who will do a lot for you. You have a friend who gifted you a Rolex Submariner, for Christ's sake, and you're sitting here feeling sorry for yourself? You entitled prick. <laughs> You'll be alright, kid. Just, just, you know, like they say that Winston Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep going. So, just keep going, kid. You'll, you'll make it. And if you're not this and you're someone else and you're currently dealing with mania or depression, you'll get through it. Just believe in yourself. Just talk to anyone, even if you don't have friends. And I hope you do find friends, but if you don't have friends, you can reach out to me. I'll leave my email in the description below. And I hope, I, I hope, I hope that I will be able to reply to you and I will reply to you if I'll be able and I'll be there for you because all of us are going through a struggle, even if we are not bipolar. All of us are going through a struggle. <sighs> and I'm going to end this video well because I'm getting emotional again. I don't want to cry again on camera. So thank you very much for, for, for watching. And um, I appreciate you, everybody, if you watch this uh, 13, 14 minutes long video of me talking about my mental health. Thank you. Tata. Or to quote uh, T800, was it? I'll be back.